I've told you before, like I've I've seen the scenes like three years in advance. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, and it, it's all here now. Like that, yeah. it's. It, and it isn't, you think three years is quite a long time, but it's now, and the fact that you, exactly, it actually it's, and it's always been now. And you know, the three years ago, the me that saw those scenes three years ago, and the me that saw them in this particular point in time and space exist side by side. They're like it's so difficult to describe in words. <laughs> Because it, it like language makes it seem like there's there's a movement like three years ago was something other than now. Yeah, just go with it. <laughs> but yeah, oh. but that's it, and it's you know it it just keeps coming back to the point. It's all here now, and you have access to it. Yeah, you have really the ability to shift into it, and that's the practical aspect of it is that because it's all here now, you don't have to create time. Mm. In between. To you don't, exactly. you don't need to go through all those frames that you think you need to. <laughs> exactly. You don't need to go to university for four years to get your diploma or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's just there's another way. There's always another way, and it, it comes in your imagination. And the steps to it, you just have to act as that version that you already are, and you literally become it. It's so easy. And I think, I think people are scared of taking action because they... they logic the thing to death They're like gosh is it right is it wrong should i do it why should i do it blah right. blah blah it's just, and that you let you let your conditioning get in the way of yeah. Yeah. stepping into the reality that you really want to experience and that's another thing i've coincidentally been thinking about is taking action mm. yeah. and it's, it's so important I, I just i started to take massive action just recently as well and, um, well, and that's and that's it. it. Like the, the circuit, it's the only way to actually become it. Exactly. So, there, the universe isn't going to walk your steps for you. We we came here to live a physical life. Exactly. Because live physical, being the key word. Physical action, you know. Yeah, and that's that's what living is. Living is really getting out in the world and walking the dream that you want to make manifest. It it doesn't happen oh. to. Sorry. Hmm? Sorry. Well, I just I just realized this last night. When you live your vision, when, when you take action, right, you start to – the synchronicities that happen is you ex experiencing the effect that you're already having on the world. Like I, I know that you move into a world where you, – you're moving into a world where you're already having that effect. So the synchronicities that happen, like you get – you know, you get emails of appreciation or you start manifesting money or whatever. That's mm -hmm. that's the indicators of you becoming who you already were, right? And the only and when you live the vision, which means taking action, it's it's almost like the action enacts you enacts the joy as well. Like I, I think people are kind of scared of taking action for some reason, but it's so much fun. Like taking, it is. Fun, taking action is the most fun That's, thing ever. You know? It is. It's fun to see it unfold. It's fun to see what taking one single step in the direction of the reality you experience brings into view. Like There is so much synchronicity that comes up from just deciding to, to step this way. Yeah, it's, because it, you, don't, you only have, as the physical mind, you only have access to the, the next step, really. And that's exactly. that's in your imagination, but you have to take action on that in order to get the next step and the next step and the next step, yeah. because yeah. It, it it not only does it, you know, the steps are contrast as well, so they add to the detail as you go along, but it's there's no point in you receiving three steps ahead of you because it just it wouldn't relate to you. It doesn't make sense. So the higher mind doesn't send it to you. It's not just no. Like, and yeah, you're interpreting, you know, the the information through the filter of your beliefs. So, yeah, you're always going to step within that. But that that's just to say if, you know, if what you want to do is download information or knowledge of, like one of the examples you gave earlier was, you know, you don't have to go to university for four years to know something. 
Mm. And it's the reason that you manifest those sequence of scenes in which you go to university for four years is because that's your belief of how knowledge is obtained. So no matter how the information comes to you, you know, if, if your interest is, you know, I want to know, mm, I don't know, pick, you know, physics. <laughs> I want to know, you know, what the, the understanding in physics is. And the instant you have that desire, the knowledge is sent to you. But you download that knowledge within your own belief parameters. Okay. You manifest that information, that download through a sequence of scenes that are believable to you. That's why it's important not to believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> just just and, get into well, knowing. It's, it's, well, it's, I mean, I don't know. Every, every model of reality we adapt is going to have its limitations because by adapting a very model of reality... By definition, you're, you're limiting... Exactly. Reality. So even even saying, you know, don't believe anything, it's it's still that's still a model. So I don't know if we can be in physical focus and not have a model of experience. I think there's always going to be some sort of framework there. Yeah. To frame it's, the, you know, infinite amount of information that that's all around us and I just like lately to if I get stuck in thought, just say look because thought vibrates, it's it's an illusion, it's it's a structure that we use, you know, it's beneficial obviously, but you want to go beyond thought and into knowing, and knowing is, is it's, it's now, it's being now, and I, all I do now is say, all I know is I am, and all I know is I am, or I, existence is an extension of, of I am, and so I just step into that and you know, I'm back in the now and I can start all over again. It's kind of like collapsing into zero point. Yeah. And any thought that's that was hindering me or res causing resistance just doesn't pop up anymore and because it was irrelevant. But we because we're pure awareness, whatever we focus on, it starts to, you know, form this vortex and starts attracting unto itself and literally forms into a physical experience. But if you can just be the pure awareness and choose what you want to focus on rather than – it's just a nice way of collapsing back into nothing or neutralizing oh. everything. You know? And I, th I think we we're supposed to do that. Yeah. I, I think the reason, you know, that people manifest or, you know, beings manifest – various forms of resistance is because you're not doing that enough. You're not sort of wa you know, washing the slate clean. Instead, you're just accumulating resistant patterns yeah. after resistant <laughs> patterns after resistant patterns until yeah. you die. So, and it's... And, <laughs> like, and, and you can do it like every moment. Every five seconds, you new, can drop back well, into zero. Yeah, it's, a then, new, it's a new universe. Every exactly. slice. It's, it, and, and literally... It basically has nothing to do with the previous slice. You just think it does. You, it's, you, you don't have to continue the story yeah. from, you know, moments ago. Like, this moment is not a continuation of any other moment. The start it's of this radio show has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now or who we not are right now. The, no, <laughs> and, and, it, and that's how fast it moves. It's like, and now. Yeah. Oh, and now. <laughs> like, it's... No, it's it's, it's so fast it's, that it looks solid. Yeah. It's so... It's yeah. just... 